The world of military aviation is a thrilling arena where cutting-edge technology and raw power collide. Taiwan's ADC FCK-1 Qingquo and India's Hal Tejas are ready to square off. These aren't your flashy, big-budget, fifth-generation stealth fighters. These are the scrappy, cost-effective workhorses designed to protect their homelands. The Qingquo reflects Taiwan's determination to stand strong in a volatile region. The Tejas represents India's ambition to establish itself as a major player in aerospace tech. This isn't just about comparing specs, it's about understanding the driving forces behind these aircraft. So strap in and get ready for a deep dive into the heart of these airborne gladiators. Let's get down to brass tacks and see how these birds stack up. The Qingquo, with its twin-engine configuration, measures around 48 feet long with a wingspan of roughly 28 feet. The Tejas, a sleek, single-engine design, stretches about 49 feet in length with a slightly narrower wingspan of 27 feet. The Qingquo boasts two Honeywell iTech F125 turbofan engines, each churning out around 9,000 pounds of thrust. The Tejas, powered by a single General Electric F404 engine, can hit speeds of Mark 1.8. When it comes to range, the Qingquo can cover approximately 920 miles on internal fuel, while the Tejas boasts a slightly longer reach of around 1,050 miles. The Qingquo's twin-engine design might have a slight edge in terms of acceleration and climb rate, while the Tejas's single-engine configuration could translate to better fuel efficiency. Now, let's talk about the brains and brawn of these airborne warriors. The Qingquo features a sophisticated avionics suite, including a multi-mode pulse Doppler radar and a digital fly-by-wire control system. The Tejas boasts a state-of-the-art glass cockpit with multifunction displays and a helmet-mounted display system. When it comes to firepower, both jets pack a serious punch for their size. The Qingquo can carry a variety of air-to-air -air missiles, including the indigenous Skysword 1 and 2, as well as American-made Sidewinders. The Tejas can be armed with a mix of Russian, Israeli, and Indian-made missiles, including the Darby, R-73, and Astra. Both jets are designed to be highly adaptable, capable of carrying a wide range of ordnance for various missions. Section 4. Price Tag of Pride, Production and Deployment The Qingquo program, initiated in the 1980s, was a major milestone for Taiwan's defense industry. Despite facing delays and cost overruns, over 130 Qingquos were built. The Tejas program, conceived in the 1980s, faced numerous delays but finally entered service with the Indian Air Force in 2016. India has ambitious plans to procure over 200 Tejas fighters in various configurations. The Qingquo, with its longer production run, likely has a lower unit cost compared to the Tejas. Both jets represent a significant investment for their respective countries, not just in terms of monetary cost, but also in terms of technological expertise and national pride. Section 5. Dogfight of Diplomacy, which one reigns supreme? The Qingquo, with its twin-engine design and proven track record, might have a slight edge in terms of raw power and reliability. The Tejas represents the cutting edge of India's aerospace ambitions. Ultimately, the winner of this duel depends on the specific criteria you prioritize. Are you looking for raw power and combat experience? The Qingquo might be your pick. Do you value cutting-edge technology and future growth potential? The Tejas could be the way to go. Taiwan and India, facing unique security challenges, have shown the world that they are not content to be mere buyers of military hardware. They are builders, innovators, and defenders of their own destinies.